So good morning to all of you. Welcome to our Thursday Namaste Lake Chapala session or Namaste wherever you are session because this is not just a community that's in a place at a given time. It's a community that's everywhere all at once because we are everywhere at all at once. I am, the I am presence within me is everywhere all at once and that's something for us to celebrate. And here we are celebrating it. I, I really feel that this movement that we've created, this Namaste movement is gonna to begin to spread now. I envision Namaste communities all around the world. In fact, uh, it's already beginning to happen. I, I won't say anything more about that, but it's already beginning. And it's just a symbol of the fact that I am everywhere and that that blessing, which is what Namaste, is extending and expanding everywhere we look. So that's what we're entering into now, the experience of Namaste. And I'm just so happy to be able to join you in that. And Vicki is not here today. She uh, has some stuff to take care of. And now I'm looking for my phone. Hold on one moment, here it is. Where we have the lesson of the day, which, is just another one of the lessons that I've been writing. I think these are all going to be ultimately compiled into a book. I may have mentioned that, but it's been so fun sharing them every day. And this one is such a beautiful one because it talks about the process, the process of you remembering who you are, of waking up to that reality which has never changed. And basically what it says is there is no process. A process usually means that something needs to change within you, that you need to do something or whatever it may be, some, something that changes you. And what this is saying is that change within the changeless is impossible. You've tried, it didn't work, now just relax, now just surrender, now just allow yourself to be taken to allow yourself to be taken by grace itself. So I really love this lesson. Let me go ahead and share. It says, the earth and all things belonging to it are but the outer manifestation of my idea. My idea, both with capital letters, capital M, capital I. We have to remember who's talking here. Let's go back to that, the very beginning. What is, who it is that's talking here ultimately is you. It's the truth of you, that I am presence that's within you, has always been fully present within you. So remember that when it talks about this idea that it contains, that it extends every moment, it's not talking about something that's separate from you. It's talking about you, the truth within you, but it's also not giving any credibility at all to your identity to the part of you that you believe you are, that you have used to block yourself from the experience of the truth of who you are. Okay, just remember that that's the voice of speaking. That's gonna be very important in this lesson. So once again, the earth and all things belonging to it are but the outer manifestation of my idea. There is no process through which this becomes true. And it's important for you to finally realize this. The outer manifestation of my idea has always been true and cannot be made untrue. Once again, the outer manifestation, that which you are perceiving now, of the true idea of the I am presence has always been true and cannot be made untrue. It's unchangeable. And my idea of you has always been true as well though you have desperately tried to force me to change my mind about you. I am smiling at your strange attempt to change the changeless and separate what forever remains whole. I love that. It's like this I am presence is smiling at you right now. As like a child, you and me and everyone in this perceptual world, like children, we try to change the changeless. And so the I am presence that's within you right now smiles and says, okay, 
You can keep trying that for another thousand years if you want. I don't know why you would because you're blocking so much light and so much love and so much grace. Why not just surrender? Why not just give up these childish attempts to be what you are not and accept fully what you are and have always been? Why not today? Okay. Once again, I am smiling at your strange attempt to change the changeless and separate what forever remains whole. Wouldn't it be easier to just relax into the divine flow that surrounds you? Like floating down a river that draws you effortlessly toward an infinite ocean of grace. Wouldn't that be easier? Wouldn't that be better than resisting, trying to hold back that divine flow? Imagine trying to hold back a huge, mighty river. What would that take? It'd be impossible. You can't do it. And yet that's exactly what each one of us has tried to hold back the, the presence, the presence that is unchangeable within us, to hold it back like a river so that we don't have to deal with what it offers. And what does it offer? It offers everything. It offers love and holiness and grace immeasurably in ways that we can't even begin to understand. That's what you're trying to hold back, and you fail. Thank God you failed. One more paragraph. Stop imagining that there's a process through which you can earn my love. You cannot earn what has never been denied. Just open up your spiritual eyes and see what has always been true. How hard can that be? I'm telling you that it isn't hard at all though you have made it seem very hard indeed. All I'm asking for is a little faith which grows and becomes an experience which then becomes your certainty. I love that. Let me read it one more time. All I am asking for, this is the only thing the I am presence is asking of you, for you to have a little faith that what you're hearing is true, which becomes an experience, which is all we really talk about, all we really teach here, to allow the faith or the willingness to turn into an experience where this bubbles over inside you, which then becomes a certainty. The certainty means that you know it's true at the very core of your being. There's nothing that you need to have proven. You don't need the evidence because you know it's true. The certainty of grace. That's what you're claiming now. I am calling you to believe that you are loved, but to know, rather, I'm sorry, I am not calling you to believe that you are loved, but to know, to know that you are love itself. Isn't that beautiful? So be certain of that. It's time for you to be certain that you are love itself. And why not today? Why not dive into that infinite ocean? Why would we just sit here and listen to this over and over and over? We've got 60 to 100 people here every day, several hundred that are watching the YouTube replays of it. Why not today? Why not right now? Why not drop all of those defenses that have blocked the awareness to the presence of love? And why not just let that dam break on all around us and be flooded by grace? You can do it today if you choose. So why wait for heaven? You're merely closing your eyes to who you've always been. So with that being said, Vicky's not here today, but we're going to turn to Christina. I see Christina is here, which we're always very happy about. Love to hear what you would like to share. You can be the, the, the voice of, of integration like Vicky usually is and talk about the practicalities of how we put this into our daily lives. Good morning. Can you hear me okay? We sure can. Great. I just noticed that the gardeners started blowing or something, so I don't know if you can hear it, but it's a little loud. This is such a powerful message today. 
And it sounds so simple and it is so simple, but I know that for many of us, for a period of time, there's a back and forth that happens. Mm -hmm. And that is simply just the habit that we have developed over the years, the course of the mind living separated from the truth of our being, the truth of our, the source of our being, the I am. And that habit is strong, just like any habit, and it will want to pull us back and it will pull us back automatically without our recognition of it even for periods of time. That's where the discipline comes in, in choosing to turn our attention away from the thoughts. And it's also important, you know, it doesn't get more practical than that. That is the answer. We simply turn our attention away from identification, away from the thoughts, away from the belief in me. If in the beginning I have to remind myself that I am not that until I become comfortable enough resting where I am, simply just being. And as that being takes place, it begins to do the work. As I rest, as I turn my attention and I rest here in the empty silence, the being itself, the I am of us begins to do its work, begins to purify, begins to weaken the hold of the habit that will continue to take us into distraction. So that being said, there is only one thing to do and that is to simply just turn our attention away from the thoughts. The I am, heaven here now is Heaven is simply freedom from identification. Heaven is God consciousness free, which is free of duality. The only way that I can experience being free of duality is to turn my attention away from the mind. So the only place that heaven is going to be found is in the moments, the holy instant where I am not identified, I'm not attached, my attention and awareness is not on the mind, on the person. So it's very simple. And that's what I love about today's message. And this is the you know, the reality of spiritual conversation is very difficult because there's so many paradoxes. You know, I've said and shared before, I think here, that we really don't need to do anything. Yes. And it's true. Yep. And at the same time, I have to turn my attention away from what I believed was real. But as I turn my attention away from that, there's nothing more to be done. So language can be tricky and it's tricky not just because of how it comes through, but it's tricky because how, of how each of us perceive what's being said. And we perceive what's being said by wherever we are living in our realm of what we've given most of our attention to in the mind. So the more that I can just allow myself to rest, the more that I can just allow myself to feel that current, the life pulse within me, the 
easier it becomes to stop being taken by the simple habit of identification. I think I said that round and about in many different ways, all the same exact thing, and hopefully it reached every one of your hearts in the perfect way this morning. So this is the day. This is the day where experience is the truth that I am. Yes. Thank you, Jimmy. Well, thank you. And I'm glad you're saying the same thing over and over because that's all we're really all doing. It's the same lesson over and over, given a different tone, a different color, but it's really the exact same message. And I, I love how you emphasize that this is not a doing. We're not here to do. It's an undoing. All we're really being called to do is to, to relax, to let go, so that this whole crazy idea can be undone within us. And then what has always been done what has always been complete emerges on its own. We don't, and this is all the lesson we heard today is sharing. There's no process for that. There's just a letting go within that and undoing. And if we can just allow all of the, the, all of the ego desires to be undone, which is really the same as undoing my separate self identity, that within me that wants to be separate from you and everything else, just allow that to be undone. I find myself where I have always been, held within the arms of grace itself. And we could describe this in different ways, and we will describe it in different ways. Every single day, we're going to be saying the exact same thing until this thick noggin gets it, until I can just relax into it and say, yes, yes, yes. This is the only thing there is. So thank you, Christina. And thanks to all of you who are watching this on YouTube, we're going to continue our discussion live.